Are you a fan of Halo's Master Chief? Well, join me today as we print a Xbox controller stand of his likeness. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are printing a Master Chief Xbox controller stand. So this is a paid for model. So it was made by Ink 3D. So all credit to him for making the model. But today I'm going to take you through downloading it, getting it into Kira, and getting that first print together so that you can assemble this awesome figurine. So you don't see it a lot of times on the channel for me, but yes, I have been painting on this one. It is not a finished product, but it's along the way. So basically we're going to get this guy going and get him printed. But before we hop over to the computer, if you like what the content you're seeing today, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. We've had over 1,300 people join us, and I'm hoping to expand that even more. So if you guys like this channel, let me know. If you have any questions about 3D printing or anything along that line, leave a comment down below, and feel free to follow us over on Instagram and Facebook as well. So let's hop over to the computer. All right, guys, and as I said, Master Chief Holder, and you'll see I'm on a different site than what I normally visit to go get my models. This is over on Colts 3D. This one's by Inked. 3D and it is just a awesome model. I am a huge Halo fan and when I saw this I knew I had to have it. $2.41 cheap. It That's cheap for a model. So this is where it came from. All credit to the model maker, maker of Ink 3D. This thing is just awesome. So this is over on Colts 3D. Link will be down in the description as always and also distinguishing the artist of the of the model. So let's hop over to Kira. So I had to do this in two prints. The base was one, which really neat. You can do, I did 30% infill. I wanted a little bit of weight so we wouldn't have the ability to fall over. So base, pretty clean, simple, easy to do. So we're going to clear the build plate. And then we had to do the rest of Master Chief which again, the model maker did a fantastic job of making this model doable on small printers. So we got his arms with the alignment pins, which if you want to see how to make alignment pins and separate a model like this, head over to my video from Mesh Mixer where I do exactly this on another model. And this is basically one big model and has done some plain cuts to separate it up. We got, of course, Master Chief's head. Gotta have a head. I mean, what's the point if he doesn't have a head? We got his legs. And then we need his torso. That's all there is to this model. Pretty simple model. I printed it exactly like you're seeing it on the build plate. I did have a fail where I lost the legs once and I had to print the legs again. But all in all, pretty easy. You can do this all on an Ender 3 or you can try to get it all on one build plate with the CR10. But basically, not much to it. Make sure you have enough supports. Here, we'll scroll through my settings. I did this all with Inland PLA plus white. Um, you guys will see the painted figurine um, at the end here after we get done printing it, because uh, I went ahead and painted mine and just kind of started working on it. I'm not done painting it, but it's it's there and it's doing its job. So 80% um, uh, support is a good place to start. Make sure you got your traction and everything enabled. You don't want string if you can do without it. And supports, like I said, you'll have supports here on the torso, supports for the arms. The legs pretty much take care of themselves. I think there was a center support that went in here, and of course the head will have some support as well. So let's take a look at those supports. Not a lot to build this model, $4. I mean, you spent $2 and $4 in material. I mean, that's getting away pretty, I think, at a pretty good deal. Now you may want to bump your support up to 70, 75, but like I said, there's support here. Uh, Master Chief's got to have a butt. Um, we want the torso to build properly and we want the arms to be supported as they build upward, especially these alignment pins, as you can see, have the supports. Uh, the visor, these came off really easy. There was no damage to the visor from the support there. Um, and I think I did jump up to 75 to give a little bit more support in here as it builds up. But Honestly, that's all there is in Kira for this guy. Not a lot. The model maker did an awesome job of making this model very buildable, very printable, and very clean and very detailed. Um, Halo, 
Honestly, it's the only reason why I own an Xbox until the Master Chief Collection came out on PC, and then the Xbox went. Uh, Halo's been one of my favorite games ever since it came out. It's still one of the games I will go back and play over and over again or get online and play with my friends. So finding this model, having this sit here and hold my controller was just a great thing. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to that time lapse, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, that's it. So I printed this using Inland PLA Plus. I printed it on an Ender 3 and a CR10. I did the base on the CR10 while I did most of the figuring. You can print this completely on an Ender 3. The Ink 3D did a great job of breaking up the model, creating the alignment pins, and getting it out there so that you can get this thing printed nice, clean, and easily. So still a work in progress, but I'm working on it every day, making them look a little bit better. So again, if you like what you saw today, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, and we will see you guys in the next video.